uh, namaste and welcome to english class dear students i hope you are ready to learn english lesson today first of all let's look at the picture okay so what do we see in the picture yes obviously you see two students there okay they are doing paper works right so do you remember the days of your grade 1 Okay, so what did you used to do when you were in grade one? Do you remember the activities? Yes, you can think for some time. Obviously, oh, you used to do different activities, right? You did not used to do the same activities as you do nowadays. Now you are in grade seven. So uh, normally, grade one students. don't do the same activities that grade 7 students do that means you used to do different activities when you were in grade 1 right do you remember different activities all right so here did you use the uh, do the same things that you do now obviously not your mother used to help you to dress up okay your mother used to help you or your father used to help you to have a bath perhaps your father used to take you to school right so for different activities you needed support at that time so at that time you did not have the same habit as you have now right so can you guess today's lesson what we are going to do now okay let's see think about food dress study company washing cleaning and so on can you think all these things that you were in grade 1 okay so when you were in grade 1 do you remember the food okay so your mother used to prepare food for you right you uh, did not use to prepare food for yourself now you may prepare food for yourself and do you remember the dress okay so you uh, certainly you have different type of dress when you were in grade 1 right and study mm. and uh, normally you remember when you were in grade 1 you used to play more than you study right nowadays Okay now you are in grade 7 you have lots of homework okay i guess so you are busy doing your homework but in grade 1 normally you used to play you used to play a lot okay and company that means friends okay you used to be with your parents all the time right or uh, most of the times you used to be with your parents nowadays you uh, okay you um, always go with your friends okay so washing nowadays you can wash your clothes but do you remember when you were in grade 1 your parents would help you you did not used to wash your clothes right so cleaning okay so nowadays you can clean your room but when you were in grade 1 you did not used to clean your room okay you were too small to clean your room and you did not have idea how to clean properly all right so let's compare present habit and past habit right so from this you can guess what we are going to learn now okay so we learned about past habits okay certainly a few years back a few years ago you had different habits now you are in grade 7 and you can do some more things that you could not do in the past all right so when i was in grade 1 i used to or i did not used to okay let's see have a bath with the help of my mother means i used to have a bath with the help of my mother right do you remember now you can have a bath yourself 
you don't take help from others to have a bath, right? And go to school with my elder sister. When I was in grade one, I used to go to school with my elder sister, right? And next is cook food. Okay, did you know how to cook food when you were in grade one? I don't think. So at that time you should say, when I was in grade one, I did not use to cook food, right? Nowadays, you can, right? Nowadays, you do, okay? Wash clothes. When I was in grade one, I did not wash clothes. That means I did not use to wash clothes, okay? So next is play. More than I study means when I was in grade one, I used to play more than I study. So, do you remember the word that we are using all the time? Used to, did not use to. When you are the habit of doing that, you should use used to. Okay? And I used to play a lot. It was your habit. Playing was your habit. So I used to play. Not at present, in the past. All right? When you had the habit of doing something in the past, you use used to, all right? And when you did not have the habit of doing that, at that time we use, did not use to, okay? I did not use to cook food, right? So let's move ahead. What do you see in the picture? Yes, in the picture, yes, you are right. And mother and a child. The mother used to take the child to school, used to, right? The child did not used to go to school himself or herself. You know that. She is a girl there. The child is a girl. She did not used to go to school herself, right? Now, it is the past. And let's see. Now, she can go to school herself. Okay? So let's compare past and present. She had the different habit, right? And uh, so in the past, the mother used to take the child to school, right? Now the girl can go to school herself, okay? Similarly, you can see in the next picture. You see, in the past, my mother used to help me to complete my homework. Okay? That means I used to take my mother's help to complete my homework. Right? This is the past event. Okay? But here now, the boy is doing the homework himself. Can complete the homework. Okay? So here now, this is present. This is now. So when we compare, and at that time, the boy would say, okay, my mother used to help me to complete my homework. Now I can do my homework myself. Okay, so let's compare present and past. You may have such okay, uh, experiences. When you were a small child, at that time, your parents would help you to complete your homework. But now you can do most of your homework yourself. Right? Now, let's see. Mm, what do we guess looking at the picture? Swimming in the river. Okay? What was the habit? The habit was, you see, I used to swim in the stream. The stream is a small river. Okay? I used to swim in the stream. Okay? So, uh, please, remember, you should use used to while talking about the past habit. Okay, uh, let's repeat this sentence again. I used to swim in the stream. And next is, what do you see in the picture? Mm, yes, the girl is playing guitar. She's playing the guitar. Okay, so what does she say? Okay, here, Nobina used to play the guitar. She's Nobina, and she had the habit of playing guitar. Okay. And now, what do you see in the next picture? Okay, so you see a boy, 
growing vegetables, working in the kitchen garden, maybe. So he used to grow vegetables. Okay, Ouija, let's see, he is Pemba. Pemba used to grow vegetables. That means in the past. So we are using used to. Okay, Pemba used to grow vegetables. In the past, Pemba had that habit. All right. And yes, the girl there, she is wearing frock. So she had the habit of wearing frock. So you say, Neelam used to wear frock. That means nowadays she doesn't. She had the habit of wearing frock. So we are using used to. Neelam used to wear frock. Okay? You see the next picture here. What do you see in the next picture? All right. In this picture, you see a gentleman helping the boy to go to school. How can you guess that uh, the little boy is going to school? Because the father is carrying a school bag. All right. So here, the boy would say, this time the boy would say, I used to go to school with the help of my father, or my father used to take me to school. Right? And next is, uh, nowadays, I can go to school on my own. Our father would say, I used to take my boy to school, or I used to take my son to school. Nowadays, he can go on his own. Right? So, yes. He used to go to school with his father when he was in grade two. The boy was in grade two, and he used to take father's help to go to school. Means the father used to help the boy to go to school. Nowadays, the boy can go on his own. The boy doesn't need father's help to go to school. All right? And what do you see in the next picture? Radio. Okay, did you used to listen to radio? Okay, I used to. Okay, I used to listen to radio a lot when I was a boy, myself. I'm talking about myself. Now I'm a teacher. When I was a school student like you in grade seven, there was no television in my house. So I used to listen to radio for any kind of news and information. Right? I had the habit of doing that. Okay, so next is, what do you see in the picture? Newspapers, Kathmandu Post, Rising Nepal, Gorkha Patra, Nagarik, Kantipur, you can see different newspapers. So can you compare present and past? So what did the girl do in the past? And what does she do nowadays? Okay, so you see here now. She used to listen to the radio, okay? And what does she do nowadays? Now she reads newspapers. So let's compare two sentences. In the first sentence, you can see used to. Okay? Used to is for describing past habit. Okay? She so used to listen to the radio. You can see radio there, right? And now she reads newspapers. There is no used to for present habit. There is used to for past habit. No used to for present habits. Have we compared two sentences there? She used to listen to the radio. Now she reads newspapers. Okay? I hope you got the idea for using or uh, how to describe past habits. Okay? Yes, you see the picture here. What do you see in the picture? In the picture, you can see a typical village. Uh, it may be the village of Tarai region, okay? So, uh, how to describe the past event? Okay, here is a sequential order. Here is a kind of description. Okay, you see the description here? Okay. This is the experience of a person, okay? I return to my village after five years. That means the person left village five years ago. 
did not stay in the village for five years. I went to Kathmandu with my parents when I was eight. There are a lot of changes. What, what are the changes? What were the things in the past? And what are the things at present or now? OK, so you see. Do you guess what is it? It's a school. It was in the past. And what do we guess here now? The school at present. And the, the person who went to Kathmandu five years ago can compare the okay, schools in the village. OK, so you see here now. There used to be a house with a thatched roof. That means dry grass or hay or straw, okay, while using to make the roof of the house or any kind of building that is called thatched roof. Kunei, fushko chana, ghor ko chana, right? That is called thatched roof. Do you understand? All right. So we called it a school. The condition of the school was that in the past. Now there is a big building with lots of rooms. Uh, let's compare. And the person compared in the past and at present. Okay? There used to be a house with a thatched roof. Okay? Now can you guess what is it? Did you play like this? Do you remember the days when you were small children? Mm, did you? used to play like this? Obviously, you did. OK? Uh, so children used to play a lot the whole day, perhaps. Nowadays, children go to school. You see children in a school dress, carrying bags and books, right, going to school. So in the past, there were no schools in the village. But nowadays, all the children in the village, go to school, OK? So what do we see here now? Children used to play the whole day then. Then means in the past, OK? And what do they do at present? Now they go to school. So in this sentence also, you can see, used to play. That means nowadays, they don't play like this. They go to school, all right? Now let's see the next picture. There are three different pictures. And the first picture, uh, how do you evaluate the first picture? What can you see there? It's muddy. When it rains or when water flows to the road, it becomes muddy. This is not a pitch road. This is a muddy road, OK, unpitched. And it was in the past. And at present, what do you see there? Pitch road and buildings beside the road. Okay? So, what's the difference? What does the person compare or what does the writer compare? There used to be just one path which got very muddy in the rainy season. Okay? The, there was just one path that got muddy in the rainy season. Now, there is a shiny concrete road, right? Concrete road. Okay? That is pitch, pitch road. OK? And all the important buildings, school, health post, post office, are beside the road. OK? You can see in the third picture on your left. Right? And what do you see there? There is a difference. So the writer compares. There used to be. OK? And he does not use used to be. Right? And what does he say? Now there is a shiny concrete road. OK? So he compares. At the end of the village, there was a wood. Wood means a small forest, right? You can say wood is uh, normally log of wood. But here, wood means a small forest. We used to go there and play hide and seek. Mm, it was the habit of playing hide and seek in the small wood. OK? The writer had the habit of that playing with the friends. Now it has been cleared, means in the second picture, you can see dry, no trees, only a few trees at last, OK? Cut off and cleared. So there used to be many trees, 
right? There, there used to be wood, but nowadays it has been cleared. Okay? Okay, dear students, I hope you got the idea. And the next is people used to be very friendly. They liked each other. Now they are so busy. They did not talk to each other. That means when they are very busy, they have to be focused on their work, on their duty or job. This is sad. The person compares, right? There are a lot of changes. However, I still love my village. Do you love your village? I think you do because everybody likes or everybody loves the place where he or she was born, right? And so, in the first picture, what do you see? There is kind of discussion, cooperation, helping each other, finding solution to the problems. But in the second picture, people are very busy nowadays. In the past, people used to be very friendly, right? They used to help each other, but nowadays they are very busy, okay? So, here now, uh, this picture, when you look at this picture, do you remember you need to reading passage? Yes, I think so, you remember. Every dasai, I used to go home, who said this? The author, okay? Where did the author go? The author went to Shankhu Ashava, right? Okay, so, uh, when did he used to go? Every dasai, right? In unit two of grade seven, you will learn this. Every dasai, I used to go home. That means the writer had the habit of going home every dasai, okay? So the writer remembers the festival. Yeah, do you remember that the writer, okay, especially, the writer used to be very excited to go home for Dasai. There were two reasons behind that. Okay, the first was the writer would meet the family members, would be together with the family members. And next is you would get opportunity to celebrate the festival. So the writer is using every Dasai, I used to go home. Okay, so next is we are going to learn time for grammar on page number 19. Okay, if you are looking at your book, please, you can turn on page number 19. The writer says, every dasai, I used to go home. Right? We describe this one. He means that, what does he mean? He means that it was his habit. It was his habit in the past to go home whenever dasai came. It was the habit. Okay? Next is, I used to read comics before. But now I don't. That means I don't like to read comics. So when we describe our past habits, we use used to. Okay, while describing past habit, we use used to in the sentence. So I used to read comics before. It was the habit of reading comics. But now I don't. Okay? Now you are going to fill in the gaps with used to and the above from the brackets. Can you find the exercise in your book on page number 19? Yes. I think if you are okay looking at the book, you find the exercise. What do you see in number A? I write with a pencil when I was young. Now I write with a pen. What comes? Can you guess? Obviously, this is past habit and used to. I used to write with a pencil when I was young. Now I write with a pen. Okay, now let's move to number B. In the past, okay, in the past, most people did not live in mud houses. Today, most people live in brick houses. You know mud houses, Dunga Matoli Banikogar, right? And brick houses, that is Itali Banikogar, right? You know that. So in the past, most, most people used to live in mud houses, right? You see here now, in the past, most people used to live in mud houses. Today, most people live in brick houses, right? Lifestyle has been changed, right? And uh, so, people have 
different choice nowadays. Okay, and they want to live in stronger houses. Okay, compared to the past. My father doesn't smoke, but now he doesn't. But now he doesn't means he used to smoke. My father used to smoke, but now he doesn't. Okay. And next is my grandfather doesn't visit different places in Nepal. He is too old to travel now. Means nowadays my grandfather cannot travel anymore. But in the past, he had the habit of visiting different places. Okay? So, what should we do here now? Yes, my grandfather used to visit different places in Nepal. He is too old to travel now. Okay? Had the habit of visiting places. So, used to. And women stay at home and do household work. But these days, they also work in offices. That means, in the past, women used to stay at home. Now, let's read the sentence. Women used to stay at home and do household work. But these days, they also work in offices. You can compare two sentences. You can compare the conditions, right? Why we are using used to, okay? And there did it, okay, be a king in Nepal in the past. So, is there king in Nepal at present? No, there is no king in Nepal. So, we write, there used to be a king in Nepal in the past. So, it is all past event. Okay, we are describing the past activities. Okay, let's do some more practice. Okay, number one. I loved going to my grandmother because, see, Cook amazing dishes. Here, dishes means food, right? Every time we visited her, right? Obviously, you love eating amazing dishes. Who would cook that? Grandmother. So, grandmother had the habit of cooking that. So, you write, I loved going to my grandmother because she used to cook amazing dishes every time we visited her. Okay? So, let's move to number two. There did not be so many people in the streets, but now there is barely anyone. A street means roadside, okay, especially on the road. So, there used to be so many people in the streets, but now there is barely anyone, means hardly anyone. There are only a few people there, meaning is that. So, in the past, there used to be because nowadays people are busy with their works. They have no time to go out and just hang out and stay around, okay? So you can use. There used to be so many people in the streets, but now there is barely anyone. When we had a serious argument, Ronak and I talked to each other, okay, uh, for weeks. Do you remember? Here what happens? Used to or did not used to? When we had a serious argument, kind of discussion, hot discussion, kind of, okay? Ronak and I talked to each other for weeks, means now, uh, do you think um, used to or did not used to? Your guess is right. Here we use did not used to. Means kind of serious agreement, means did not used to talk to each other for weeks. The negative of used to is did not used to, right? When negative situation comes, or when we say, we did not have the habit of doing that, okay? So we use, did not use to, okay? Next is, I did not share an apartment with a friend, but now, but then I moved out. I have my own place now. What does it mean? Okay, before having your own apartment, that means, uh, before having your own place, Right? You used to share an apartment with a friend. So, here comes used to. I used to share an apartment with a friend, but then I moved out. I have my own place now. Okay? Okay, dear students, let's move to number five. Kids that are talk to their parents this way. What has happened to those days? 
Okay, does it bring positive or negative meaning? Kids talk to their parents this way. Used to talk or did not used to talk? Because the next sentence there you see, what has happened to those days? Surprising. Right? What has happened to those days? So you see like, okay, kids did not used to talk. Now let's check the answer. Okay? Kids did not used to talk to their parents this way. A kind of surprising thing, right? Unexpected thing. Okay? He did not call me all the time and I would answer right away away. I would make him call me three times before I answer. Right? And what was the habit? He used to call me. Right? He used to call me all the time and I would answer right away. At the same time, right away, without getting late. Okay? I would make him call me three times, right? Uh, okay, three times before I answered. Next is, my mom buy me everything I wanted, but since uh, she's on vacation now, I have to beg my dad for everything. Means, used to, my mom used to buy me everything, but mom is on vacation these days. Right? My mom used to buy me everything I wanted. But since she's on vacation now, I have to beg my dad for everything. I like my toys a lot, but I haven't played with them for a long time now. Means nowadays I didn't have the habit of playing with the toys. So I used to like my toys a lot. Okay? I used to like my toys a lot, but I haven't played with them for a long time now. Number nine, my father did not buy me everything I wanted, but he has been neglecting me lately. So he used to buy me everything, right? My father used to buy me everything I wanted, but he has been neglecting me lately. Okay, number 10. We are almost at the last of the today's lesson. So ice cream tastes that good, but I can't stop eating now. I can't stop eating now means I like it very much. Okay, so ice cream did not used to taste that good. Did not used to. Because here comes some kind of unexpected thing. But I can't stop eating now. Means it's very tasty today. So ice cream did not used to taste that good. But I can't stop eating now. All right. So dear students, Today, we practiced uh, using, okay, how to describe past habits. That means used to, did not use to. All right? So when we uh, describe past habit, we use used to. And when we did not do that activity, and we had no habit of doing that, and normally we use, I did not used to. For example, I used to play marble when I was a little boy or a little girl. When I was in grade four, I used to play marble. Okay, I did not used to play guitar. Okay, so what does it mean? Means when you are describing past habit, that is true, and you say used to. You use, used to. And you did not have that habit. I did not use to. So, dear students, I hope you got the idea of using used to or describe past habit in your daily life. This much for today. See you in the next lesson. Thank you.